Welcome back to my introduction to Saril. Let's talk about range and fighting multiple opponents. When we left off, the Beaky Boys had defeated three ghouls, but meanwhile, in a different part of the dungeon, Beaky Bob has run into a similar problem. Oh no, a ghoul. Beaky Bob isn't a complete bird brain. He knows the score. A ghoul bite can kill you as sure as a sword, but one of the great reasons for carrying a sword is that you can smash a ghoul's teeth out before it gets close enough to bite your beak off. This is very true in the Saral system. Both combatants still roll, and the ghoul wins. The difference is that the ghoul can't do any damage at melee range, even when it wins. Winning does, however, allow the ghoul to move closer or farther away. The ghoul moves right up close and personal to grappling range. This is bad news for Beaky Bob, because with his current weapon, and at this range, he suffers a minus one to his rolls. It's even worse for him, because in the next moment, another four ghouls join the fight. They all roll. Luckily, Beaky Bob has one good roll and kills the first ghoul. The next two he also fought, but lost, so they move in close. And the final two he could not oppose as he didn't have enough dice, so they do what they want. That means they're all in close. In the third moment, Beaky Bob has four ghouls attacking him, but only three dice to defend himself. They all roll. Beaky Bob is lucky this time. He kills one ghoul and manages to win with his other two dice, so knocks those ghouls back. Unfortunately for Beaky Bob, the fourth ghoul was unopposed, so Beaky Bob's defense roll is counted as zero. The ghoul does five points of damage, a crippling wound. Beaky Bob goes down. Is this the end? Suddenly the door is flung open and a gargly squawk of rage echoes through the chamber. <coughs> It's the other player characters, they've arrived. Well, will Beaky Bob survive? Will they find the treasure? Does Beaky Boss have a sore throat from squawking? Find out in the next episode of An Introduction to Sarl. Bye for now.